nightmare at an amusement park in Texas outside Dallas. A family watching as a mother on a roller coaster 14 stories high falls to her death. Tonight, how could this happen and what are the most dangerous rides in America? ABC's Clayton Sandell in Arlington, Texas. At Six Flags over Texas, the coasters are king. But today in one corner of the amusement park, the Texas giant is quiet, shut down Friday night after a woman fell to her death. She goes up like this, and then when it drops to come down, that's when it released and she just tumbled. The daughter and her son-in-law yelling and screaming, my mom's falling off, my mom, we can't find her. A witness tells the Dallas Morning News she saw the woman get on the ride. She claims the woman appeared concerned her safety harness was not secure. But in a statement today, Six Flags said, we are committed to determining the cause of this tragic accident. It would be a disservice to the family to speculate. <coughs> Two years ago, the Texas giant stranded riders 14 stories above the ground. Safety advocates say this latest accident highlights the patchwork of state laws governing roller coaster operators. We need uniform regulations that are applied across the board. The same standards, the same inspection guidelines apply to all amusement rides in every state. Statistically, experts say amusement parks are safe. A trade group estimates the chances of being injured one in 24 million. One study found when it comes to emergency room visits, twice as many people are injured on the carousel compared to roller coasters. And you can see the Texas giant right over my shoulder here, David. And today we have seen hundreds of thrill seekers coming to ride some of these coasters, but not this one. We're told it is shut down indefinitely.